Hello, I'm Marjorie Corton. I had bariatric surgery October 12, 2020. It was one of the best decisions I've ever made. I am so thankful to God that I had insurance to, able to be able to do this. It has helped me so much. Um, I've probably lost around 30, 35 pounds so far. I'm thrilled about that. I haven't gotten on the scale yet, except for the one time I was at the doctor's and I think I had dropped 12 pounds when I had gone like the first month. Um, and so I was happy about that. But I don't get on the scale because it's tricky because I have neuropathy and I had two strokes and it affected my hip. So uh, it's sometimes it's hard for me to get the balance to stand on the scale, but I'm not worried about the scale. I'm just concerned about my face going down and my body going down and how my clothes are fitting. So if you have thought about getting the bariatric surgery, the sleeve, I highly recommend it. If you have a hernia, they will address that situation. Um, prior to them doing the sleeve on you, they'll fix the hernia first and then they'll do that. Um, if you look at my before and after uh, videos, you'll see the transition. You'll see how sad I had felt. I felt so sad and I felt hopeless because I thought, how am I going to ever lose weight? Because I was trying to. I was trying to lose weight. But because I lost the mobility in my legs, I wasn't able to um, do any real exercises and stuff like that. But because I dropped some weight, um, that is a good thing for me. I ordered, um, uh, what the heck do you call them? A treadmill. Tread. Lost for words. I, I ordered a treadmill online for 20 bucks, and it's a foldable treadmill, and you could stick it underneath your bed or underneath the couch, and you just plug it in, and how great. So I'm going to stick my walker in front of it, or on the side of it, yeah, I guess in front of it, and I'll use that to hold on, and I'll be able to walk, because um, I can't just do it myself without holding on. I'll fall. Um, I have not really had any trouble. I had... Heart pain, I mean, like, let's face it, when you go for the surgery, you know you're going to have pain. Um, so I had pains in my stomach because they cut the muscles there, and it's, whoo, does that hurt? Um, but, you know, you you know, you know you're going to have pain, so I don't have to fall apart. I don't have to go off the deep end. I know I had pain, so, okay, I have pain, but I'll get better. So then they give you all kinds of heavy-duty drugs, and it helps the pain, and they send you home with it. I was in the hospital for one night. They sent me home with medicines, and... I had to take medicines for four days. By the fifth day, I said I'm not going to take anymore. I don't really like to take medicines if I, uh, I'm like if I take ibuprofen, you know what I mean, or Tylenol. And um, because of my strokes, I can only take Tylenol now. I can't even take ibuprofen. But point being, by the fifth day, I wasn't taking any more medicines. Um, everyone's different. You may have to take them longer. I know my son had uh, bariatric surgery. Um, not the sleeve, but the gastric bypass, and he had to take medicines. Um, going into a second week, he had to get it renewed for more medicine. So everyone's different. Um, as far as the drinks, they wanted you to take. They want you to do like 64 ounces of fluid, and it was it was tricky. Even now, at almost three months now, I, I don't always get 64 ounces. No way. Um, I'm working on my coffee here. I start in the morning with a premier drink, a chocolate shake. I've tried all the different flavors, but I find that I enjoy the, the shake, the, the chocolate one the best. So I order them from Amazon. And I don't know if you have food stamps or not food stamps, but um, if you do, you can use your card on there on Amazon and they'll send it to you. If you don't, you can just use your credit card or PayPal and they'll send it to your house. And that's so convenient that you can just have it delivered to your house with Amazon. Um, they sell it at Walmart and I guess other places too. I just found out from to some lady today on the bariatric group that I belong to. I belong to several of them. She said that they have the cereal. A premier puts it out. Um, so it has a lot of uh, protein in there because that's the thing that you're worried about. They want you to get um, at least, oh, I can't, I won't quote myself, but like the first day it was at least, um, let me see, I had to drink one drink, one shake, and another one. Oh, I don't know. You'll just, you'll just look at that. But they want you to do the protein first. When you eat, do the protein first, then the vegetables, then the, the potato. And so that's what I always do. I don't usually have room for the potato. And so as long as you're getting the protein in, that's what they want you to do. And they also want you to take your vitamins. 
the vitamins are very important. Some people are like, ah, I don't have to take the vitamins. Yes, you do. You have to take the vitamins because you're not eating the same anymore. So it's, it's different. So it's very important that you take these vitamins. I'm looking for my calcium one. I have this. Um, I ordered this from Amazon, the bariatric ones. Then you have to take the calcium three times a day, okay? Three times a day. Some people are like, no, I don't have to take it three times a day. Yeah, you do. I have to take it three times a day. And then my daughter-in-law told me about um, what I should take for my hair. So I started taking that for my hair. And then I also ordered one with vitamin B. And it's very important because your body doesn't process nutrients the same. And eventually, like in, within a couple months, it'll affect your hair too. So this will, um, the hair vitamins that I was taking, that'll help my hair too. So I just want to come in and let you know that I'm doing very well. I am so thankful that I had it. You could see in my face that I'm looking different and I'm just so thankful for it. I'm feeling good. Um, some people were worried that I was going to die that I, because I was going to have the surgery. No, I was not worried. I was so excited. And the reason I was so excited was because I feel like I'm having a second chance in my life. A second chance to, you know, start again, you know, dropping weight. You feel better about yourself. Of course, you feel better about yourself. If um, some people say, oh, you took the easy way out. Um, and some people get insulted by that. Um, I used to say that myself. Oh, anybody could lose weight if you have surgery, you know. And I feel the same way for me. It was the, it was it was an easy way for me to lose weight because you know why I couldn't lose weight any other way I was trying I was trying I was trying my body was like on shutdown mode um, I don't know if anyone gets these like they call them skin tags on their neck well when I went to the dietitian she said oh you have skin tags and probably you're insulin resistant and I was like oh she goes and you're pre-diabetic I didn't know I was pre-diabetic but it's like when you become insulin resistant your body's fighting you it doesn't want to lose weight so for me this was the easy way it was the only way and it was an easy way because it was easy because I wasn't stuck in the same rut and getting heavier and heavier and heavier I went up to 288 when I got out of the hospital in um, March 27th 2018 because I was in the hospital 87 days because the two strokes and blah 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 a lot of stuff I came out 218 I was so happy and then I went up to 288 within like two and a half years and I was so frustrated and I I tried all these different diets and I tried the liquid diet and the Mediterranean diet and the Atkins diet and the starvation diet and I couldn't lose weight so for me this was like easy for me I could just go in he can give me surgery and so I have to follow the protein so what I'm just it's working it's working nothing was working for me so for me this was an easy way for me it was my only way for me and so um, if you hear somebody say that to you like oh you took the easy way out don't get insulted don't go go off the deep end don't feel bad you know it's like you feel like it's the only way you know and that's how I feel it's the only way so I hope you enjoy my videos if you like them please like them if you want to share them please share them and please subscribe and tell your friends about me and um, there's hope there's hope for you and there's light for you at the end of the tunnel believe in yourself keep trying and if you're considering having the surgery do it go for the classes I my program I think was six months with my insurance company I had a mayor help so six months of um, classes you had to go to and you had to see different ones and they'll tell you all about it but you have it's a follow-through and they teach you how to eat um, how you're supposed to eat two to three hours every two to three hours and how that's good for you and you you you're not used to that you know I was not used to that and I was it was tricky it was tricky for me but you know I kept going because I had a purpose and I used to be a smoker and um, I had to quit smoking and let me let me show you something really quickly I have a I have a cigarette here and the reason I have the cigarette is because I used to, I used to pretend I would get my lighter this is how I quit smoking I put the cigarette in my mouth I took the lighter pretend that I was lighting it right I go like this and I do this all the motions blow it out flick my ashes if I was driving in the car I'd roll down the window I'd flick it switch hands if I had to change the radio 
blow out. But the important thing was keep simulating, keep making believe and doing all the motions because you think that you're smoking. You know, it's like this. Take a nice long drag, blow out, and voila. And this really helped me quit smoking. And after five minutes, I would take it, stick it back in the pack, and, and then be done with it. If I was on the computer, because, you know, you smoke a lot when you're on the computer, if you're angry, if you're stressed out, if you're bored, if you just ate, if you're waiting to eat, you always were with a cigarette. So you don't light it. You just take it and do that. That is my inspiration for you today if you're a smoker. You can do it. And the reason that you can do it is because you're worth it. And you will do it. You want to do it, you do it. I did it. Um, a month later, I went in November and she told me I had to quit. So when I went back in December, she said, and you're a smoker, right? I go, no, I quit. She goes, you quit smoking? I go, yeah, I did. She goes, why did you quit smoking? I go, because you told me I had to. You told me I couldn't have the surgery unless I quit smoking. And so then she goes, oh, well, people don't usually quit like that. I said, well, I, I did. You told me I had to. You told me I couldn't get the surgery and I need to have the surgery. I want the surgery. So that's what I did. So if I can do it, you can do it because we're no different. You want it? Go for it. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.